Hi, this is Tom Essay from Money and Markets TV. They say that the fastest way for a billionaire to become a millionaire is to buy an airline. And there's some truth to that because airlines have been one of the worst sectors of the stock market for years. Just think about today's air travel experience. Packed planes, bag fees, snack fees, television fees, legroom fees, the list goes on. But still, most airlines can't seem to turn a profit. Their expenses are just too high, especially for jet fuel. So last week's announcement by Delta Airlines made me sit up and take notice as a contrarian investor. The nation's second largest carrier will buy an old Phillips 66 refinery in Trainer, Pennsylvania. Delta will pay $150 million for the refinery and another $100 million to customize the facility. Delta says the new refinery could provide 80% of the domestic jet fuel needs. In addition, the move could save the airline $300 million annually and produce a positive return in its first year of operation. That seems like a pretty aggressive forecast to me. To be sure, it's a very risky move. Both refining and air travel are cyclical businesses, so to link them together is a doubly perilous proposition. But on the other hand, if energy prices keep rising like they have over the past 10 years, this could look like a stroke of genius down the line. I applaud Delta's management for taking this step and for thinking creatively about ways to actually make the business profitable. That's why I'm taking a serious look at Delta, even though I've never owned an airline stock. We've seen tremendous consolidation in the airline sector over the past few years. That trend is likely to continue, with U.S. Airways now trying to acquire American Airlines. This consolidation has reduced the competitiveness on many routes. As a result, airfares are on the rise, and rising airfares combined with all these extra fees, have created new and greater revenue streams for the remaining carriers. In addition, we have to remember that airline stocks are more or less inversely correlated to the price of oil. Oil broke badly last week, and if that decline continues, it will be bullish for the airlines in general. One way to play the industry is with the Guggenheim Airline ETF, symbol FAA. However, this fund doesn't trade with a lot of volume, so there could be a big spread between the ask and bid prices. Keep in mind, being a, tra being a contrarian doesn't just mean buying sectors that are depressed. It also means challenging the status quo and looking for evidence of a turn in sectors or companies before the rest of the market recognizes them. I'm Tom Essay from Money and Markets TV, and thanks for watching.